Good blessed Thursday uh, afternoon. Uh, it's uh, November the 10th, 2022. It's about 1.20 uh, p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you are the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. Doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me, my YouTube videos, or anything I say or do. That's your prerogative. I was summons down here in Cairo, uh, Illinois, uh, to this uh, Cornell F. Smith Senior Building. It's one of the last projects here in uh, Cairo, Illinois. And I was called down here because they were supposed to be having a meeting uh, a protest at the courthouse here uh, in Cairo. If I didn't say Cairo, if I said Cabinel, Cairo, Illinois, they supposed to have been having a protest here in Cairo, Illinois, because uh, the uh, CHA and uh, some of their contractors are about to uh, have all the residents out of here move out like they did uh, with, I believe, 2017 when they uh, tore down all the projects uh, in Cairo. This is one of the last standing, uh, this is a high rise where the people is about to be forced to, to move out because they said, uh, some contractors said that uh, if a earthquake happened here that uh, it might affect this foundation. Now, earthquake ain't hit this area, and earthquakes don't even normally even hit this particular area, uh, but they uh, said that they gonna try to place them somewhere else. I've talked to a few of the residents here uh, and asked them did they know anything about the protest today. Most of them didn't know anything about the protest. Uh, the protest didn't happen, or if it did, it must have happened much earlier than what the flyer said. But the uh, tenants in this particular building that I spoke to, they don't want to move, which is understandable. And they say their uh, main complaint is, the ones that I talked to, their main complaint is mice and roaches. That's the same complaint that they had at the other uh, the projects that they told down uh, back in 2017. Uh, and they didn't try to get rid of the, uh, the authorities didn't try to get rid of the, the mice or the rats and the roaches. They let the buildings deteriorate. Now, uh, a few years back, uh, they was given $10 million to build a port in the port is still haven't been built. Don't know what a $10 million is at. And they were saying that they was going to uh, fix these here, this here uh, Cornell F. Smith Senior building up. But now we see they finna tear it down. And when they tear it down, they doing just like they did in Cabrini Green, uh, Chicago and Cabrini Green, Chicago with the Robert Taylors and all the other projects. They build it, they told, they took, they tan this here down solely to uh, support that port that they got that $10 million for. And most of the people don't know what's going on. Some do know what's going on. But one thing they don't want to do is they don't want to move. And that's understandable. Uh, I grew up in Chicago in Cabrini Greens in the 1950s, 60s, in the 70s. And I know what it is when they put you in the projects and then when you doing good, then they find a means to get millions of dollars like that $10 million that don't nobody, I mean, don't none of us that's, uh, you know, are not a part of the good old boy system or a part of the big corporations 
we don't know where that $10 million is at. And if those that say, uh, you know, I'm down here in Cairo uh, speaking up, but I go where God send me. But I'm going to go down to the courthouse where they supposed to have been having the, uh, the protests. And the protests supposed to have been led by the Alexander County prosecuting attorney, which he's uh, going up against the Alexander County, Illinois uh, housing authorities. So we're going to go try to see what was going on and uh, maybe we can talk to a few people to, uh, to see if they want to talk about uh, them having to be moving. How y'all doing up there, brothers? Y'all doing all right? Okay, okay. You don't want to move up, but you know they're trying to force y'all to move, don't you? They, 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 some of them don't want to speak, which is, you know, that's their prerogative. But I'm going to leave. I come down to the to speak up for those that don't want to move. And there are some in here that don't want to move. I'm going to go down to the courthouse where they uh, supposed to have been having a protest. Uh, those of us that fight for civil rights, we know this flag don't stand for everybody. We know that don't. Let me go on down to the courthouse. This is another building right in the back of the uh, Cornell F. Smith building. Uh, it's called the Lauren L. Shoemaker Jr. building. This is the next one that's on the chopping block here. They said right now it's okay. They said right now it's okay. But see, before they, uh, when they was tearing down the projects, the regular projects here in, uh, in uh, uh, Cairo, Illinois, uh, they... Uh, they said D, both of these buildings was okay. But now uh, they saying the Cornell F. Uh, Smith building is is uh, is not okay and they want to tear it down. Now they going, next after they tear that down, they going to try to tear the Lauren L. Uh, Shoemaker Jr. building down so they can uh, build for these millionaires, these multi-billionaires uh, who have that 10 million took $10 million of uh, money that they supposed to have been a bill in a port uh, uh, with, but it's not built yet. But all you got to do is take a look around, and they're not thinking about the people, just like they didn't think about them in Chicago and Cabrini Green, the Robert Taylors and the rest of them. Uh, they took the first people from here in Carbondale in 2000. What's up? What's your name? Uh, my name Raymond Ivy. Am I am I telling the truth? They trying to they trying they trying to tear both of these here down, but they got ten million dollars to build a port. Y'all ain't got the port yet, have you? No. You know I'm I'm. They supposed to have been having a protest today, but uh they ain't had it. Do y'all know that they? You know they finna try to tear the the Cornell Smith building down, right? Yeah. And you know they they going next they gonna be talking about trying to tear this one here down, no. and. And the people that's, that they uh, placed in, uh, in, in uh, Carbondale, the man that owned the building now is making them move out. So they got to find another place to stay. But anyway, uh, if y'all want to see it, it'll be on Raymond Ivy YouTube channel. But I'm going to uh, leave for right now and go by the courthouse. Uh, but just take a look here, you know. I don't know where the protesters is at. I don't know where the prosecuting attorney at. Maybe they had a, a secret meeting, but I'm down here to just try to help those that won't help. Everybody don't want help, but some people do. And wherever they call me, I'm coming. As you can see, I'm down here in uh, Cairo, Illinois, uh, in front of the Alexander County Courthouse where there was a scheduled protest uh, with the prosecuting attorney uh, protesting against the Alexander County Housing Authority, Alexander County, Illinois Housing Authority. The uh, protest was scheduled for one o'clock. I've been here in Cairo, Illinois. Hold on a minute. I've been here in Cairo, Illinois, uh, in this area of the Alexander County Courthouse in the Cornell F. Uh, 
Smith's uh, project uh, 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 project housing, uh, but no uh, no protesters, no prosecuting attorney. Uh, I talked to one female that works for probation and uh, uh, parole. Uh, she said that they might have moved it uh, up some. I don't know if they moved it up some or not, but I I wasn't notified. But who am I? No more than somebody to come to support others. But we here at the Alexander County Courthouse in Cairo, Illinois. Uh, as you can see, uh, I guess I'm the only, the lone protester. But I always protest for other people. Peace and blessings of God, we be with you. Pray that the people in uh, the uh, two buildings be able to either stay or find a place uh, just as comfortable as the one that they're in now. Multi-millionaires and some of these leaders in some of these places, they get these millions of dollars and you don't hear nothing else. I got other things to do now. Peace out.